in 2010, I had an opportunity to uh, help produce and bring to the world a video that was leaked from a very courageous whistleblower, Chelsea Manning, to our web page uh, and service called WikiLeaks. When I watched this video, which was named Collateral Murder, I was moved to tears. Uh, and whenever I watch this video again, I get very emotional because in this video, I am witnessing something that is so deeply disturbing. I'm witnessing how war has become um, so dehumanized, so incredibly dehumanized that it's like a computer game. And so there, when you watch this video, you see how civilians are not only uh, slaughtered willingly without any proper reason, you can also see how uh, a wounded man is shot and the people that are helping him uh, to bring him to a hospital. And actually in this particular video, uh, the person that stops their car to take this wounded man to a hospital is a father bringing his two children to school. We found out when we were working on the background material, we sent uh, a journalist from Iceland in collaboration with the Icelandic state broadcaster uh, to find the children that were in the video. And uh, he managed to find them. Nobody had been to this area in Baghdad since this horrible event. Uh, no journalist had been there for a long time. And he found the children and their mother and they found out that he was driving them to a special school. And yet at the same time, the soldiers that uh, discovered that they had just shot our two children who were severely wounded, that uh, huh, we sh they shouldn't have brought them to war. Now, nobody asked for this war in Iraq. This was, in my opinion, an illegal war uh, because it had not happened before, for example, that my country, Iceland, participated in aggression on any country, let alone a country that had not uh, done anything to uh, call for this type of uh, shock and awe. I participated myself in many events. I helped organize events to try to prevent this war from happening. So many people did the same thing all over the world, yet the war happened but we were so close to stopping it. This incredible force of people from all over the world almost managed to stop the war. And then we have been seeing documents from this horrendous war uh, coming out in so many different ways. But perhaps this event uh, that I helped bring to the general public was the most significant because you could actually see it with your own eyes. And I have to say that the person that is responsible to bring this to us is now sitting for 35 years in prison for showing us uh, and blowing the whistle on crimes, on war crimes. Uh, killing wounded people is a war crime. And nobody has been held accountable for this except Chelsea Manning. And that is outrageous. So, I just want to urge people that are interested in preventing more horrors of this kind in our world to do whatever they can, because we can stop this form of madness, this form of horror in our world, if we are unified. I also want to express very deep gratitude to everybody that back then in the day when we're trying to stop this, and now are trying to prevent more wars from happening, I want to thank them because every voice matters. And I want you, if you are listening to this, to write to the whistleblower that is responsible for showing us so many of these war crimes that have been happening in Iraq and in Afghanistan. Please write to Chelsea Manning. You can find all information about how to do that. She needs our support. And also, please, please don't look the other way when you have an opportunity to see what is being done in our name. There are so many more wars coming. And uh, there is even a war going on in the United States against the uh, first people, where you know, the same people that have been killing people 
uh, as uh, military contractors are attacking uh, peaceful protesters that are fighting for the life on this earth. And also always remember that wars, all wars, are not for the interest of people. They are for the interest of those that uh, own the world, the 1%. So if you can find it in your heart to also, like I am, will do now, I want to apologize that my nation had their name in the coalition of the willing. I want to apologize from the deepest parts of my heart to the Iraqi people that uh, we, a nation who doesn't even have a military, put our name on this list. And I really wish that we can heal all the wounds that have been created because of this illegal war. So we can change the world, each and every one of us, by doing both little and great things. And you never know when, you, when the cup is full and we can stop more horrors in this world from occurring.